So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new scene. We're gonna add a user interface, rename the control node to server browser, to add a new node, add a panel node. We're gonna rename this to background panel. Then for the layout, we're gonna set this as full rectangle. And then I'm just gonna make some adjustments. I already have the values of the adjustments here, but you can manually adjust it however you would like. I'm just gonna use what I manually set up. So I did 96 on the X, 162 on the Y. And then for the size, I did 1,728. And for the Y on the size, I did 864. Next, we're gonna add another node. We're gonna add a button. We're gonna rename this button to manual setup. And we're gonna set this button's layout to the bottom right. I'm gonna set the text on the button to manual setup. And then I'm also going to go to custom fonts and I'm going to drag in our base font. Going back in the rectangle properties, I'm going to set the position at 1,255, the position on the Y to 689, and then the size, I'm going to have 443 on the X, 145 on the Y. And that's our manual setup button. We can duplicate this now, so we're going to add another button. We're going to rename this to go back, and we're going to set the text to go back. And on the rectangle, we're actually going to change the layout and we're going to set this to bottom left. And then on the position on the X, we're going to change it to 30. And the position on the Y, we're going to change it to 694. Okay, and that's our two buttons. Next, we're going to add a line edit. We're going to rename this line edit to server IP text edit. And we're going to set the anchor to the center. Now we're going to go down to rectangle and we're going to set our position on the X to 461. Our position on our Y to 189 and our size on the X to 806 and our size on the Y to 105. Now in this text edit, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we use the custom fonts using the base font, and we're gonna to wanna to make sure we set our alignment to center. Now under this server IP text edit, we want to add a label, and we're gonna rename this label to type in server IP. And we're gonna set the text to this label to type in server IP. We're gonna to wanna to set our custom font, so drag in the base font, and then we're gonna set our alignment to center and center, and then we're gonna be setting our layout to top wide, and then under rectangle, we're gonna set our position on the Y to negative 105, and our size on the Y to 105. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate one of these buttons right here. I'm just gonna drag it under the server IP text edit. You wanna make sure that's under that. And then we're gonna rename this button to join server. Again, you wanna make sure everything in your scene tree is under the correct uh, node. Now in this join server button, we're gonna go layout, we're gonna set it to center. And this is gonna center on top of the uh, text edit, so we're actually gonna move it down. So I'm gonna go to rectangle, and I'm just gonna set the position on the Y to 147. We're gonna set the text on our button to join server. So right click the background panel, add a child node, add a VBox container node. Then we're gonna go to layout and we're gonna hit full rectangle. So on the X, I'm gonna set it to 70 and on the Y, I'm gonna set it to 40. Then on the size, I'm gonna set it to 1,588 and on the size on the Y, I'm gonna set it to 649. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a label under the VBox container. We're gonna rename this label to searching for servers and set the text to searching for servers. And we'll just set the alignment to center on both the align and the vertical align. Then we're gonna set up our custom font, use base font. We're gonna go into our rectangle. And I'm gonna set the minimum size on the Y to 70. This will make sure when we drop stuff in the VBox container that it at least has the height of 70. Now I'm gonna add an animation player under the searching for servers. And in this animation player, we're just gonna add a new animation. We're just gonna call it searching. You can call it whatever you want, but that's what I'm gonna call it. Now on the first frame, we're gonna keyframe our text property in this label. So the keyframe option and then press create. Now go to 0 0.2, we're gonna add a dot to the end of the text and then we're gonna keyframe it and and we're gonna repeat that for 0 0.4, add another dot, keyframe. Then you're gonna wanna go to 0 0.6, add another dot and hit keyframe. And then we're gonna set the animation time to 0 0.8 and we're gonna tell it to loop and we're gonna tell it to autoplay. So make sure this autoplay is enabled or else it won't play and it's looping or else it'll just play once. So now when you play it, it has a little animation telling you it's searching for servers. And you can space out the keyframes even more to make it slower. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna set the speed to 0 0.5 and when you see see this screen, it actually, you won't see this server IP text edit. All the servers will populate in here and then you'll hit manual setup and then this will show and this VBox container will hide. So if the server does not show up, cause sometimes like my phone for instance will block UDP packets, which 
which is what we're going to be using. So in that case, you'd hit manual setup and then you just type in the server IP. Okay, one final thing under the background panel, we're going to add another child node. We're going to add a label and we're going to rename this label to server browser label. And we're just going to set the layout to top wide. I'm going to set the text to server browser. I'm going to set the alignment to center and the V alignment to center. Again, I'm just going to drag in my custom font. I'm going to set the position on the Y to negative 176. And there you go. It'll tell you server browser and they'll have the searching for servers automatically. This won't be shown when you start it. Now you can save the scene and we're just going to call it server browser.tscn. And now that's all the UI we need. I will be going over all of the code and everything in the next tutorial.